Bangladesh tea industry stakeholders have signaled a return to normal after weeks of deadly protests. On August 5th, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country, diffusing deadly protests in Dhaka that began in June and led to the deaths of an estimated 500 people, mainly students. A peaceful transition of power is underway with Nobel Peace Prize recipient Muhammad Yunus named interim head of the transitional Bangladesh government. Mohammed Shadir Rahman, a managing director at Indigo Brokers, writes that he was relieved to see a new government has been formed in Bangladesh. He explains, quote, Tea in Bangladesh is not just an industry, it is a culture, so everyone takes care to prevent any political party from entering the tea industry, end quote. Bangladesh Tea Board Chairman Major General Ashraful Islam exercised a strong and steady hand during the most significant political crisis since independence. General Islam, a civil engineer, has chaired the board since July 2021, a period of growth during which the country's tea production finally met the long-pursued goal of exceeding domestic demand. Bangladesh harvested 103 million kilos last year, surpassing the estimated 95 million kilos consumed. The board hopes to harvest 108 million kilos in 2024. The government set an ambitious export earnings target of 72 billion for all goods and 10 billion for services in fiscal year 2024. Goods, including tea, totaled 52 billion in May according to the Export Promotions Bureau, EPB. Earnings in the services sector were $5 billion, nearly 30% lower than the government's target. Now that the country's growers have exceeded production targets, General Islam told the Dhaka Tribune, quote, improving the quality of tea is necessary if exports are to be competitive globally, end quote. Trader Rahman said, quote, Bangladesh has exported more tea in this fiscal year than in the last five years. Everyone wants to work in the tea industry and to keep this trend going. Hopefully, the old market in the outer world will come back. End quote. Business Insight Tea exports grew 33% to 1 million kilos through May from 168 large estates and an estimated 8,000 tea smallholder gardens. Export destinations number 14 countries. The United States and the United Arab Emirates are the top two destinations, each importing about a million dollars worth of tea, followed by Kuwait, Pakistan, and Italy. Exports totaled 780,000 kilos and were valued at 1.14 million in 2023, down 57% compared to the previous year. Bangladesh's tea exports were valued at $2.73 million in 2022, according to the State Minister for Commerce. Market researchers forecast continued expansion of the global bubble tea market, but wary investors caution that the bubble may burst. There are currently six Chinese bubble tea makers separately weighing overseas initial public offerings, reports Bloomberg News. Hong Kong IPOs include Antigeni Jenny with 6,000 locations, Chai Badao also with 6,000 locations, Good Me Tea with 6,700 locations, Mi Yu with 28,000 locations, and XSQT with 1,600 locations. Chaji with 1,860 locations filed for an IPO in the U.S., China Chain Store and Franchise Association estimates the bubble tea market was worth about 145 million won, about 20 million U.S. in 2023. However, unit sales and share prices have since slowed. Bloomberg writes, quote, Chinese regulators issued guidelines earlier this year discouraging certain companies from listing in the domestic A share markets. Using so-called window guidance, regulators discreetly advised the companies that rely on explosive franchise business models also cannot list locally, according to a person briefed on the matter. End quote. 
Food and beverage chains were reportedly among the companies banned from listing in China's main exchanges, according to Chan Sun and companies Xin Meng. Quote, especially projects that are burning money in order to surge at scale, writes Bloomberg. Market saturation, concerns about whether bubble tea is a passing trend, questions about its healthfulness, high operational cost, and steep pricing amid economic certainty, threaten the viability of franchise retailers that have made the drinks available in major cities worldwide. The biggest impediment to expansion may be limits imposed by the build-out rush. Companies that rely on opening new stores to sustain revenue growth often experience a decline in gross profit margins due to higher costs associated with store operations and management. The market may look promising, but individual ventures share an inherent weakness. In May, the BBC in London produced a report examining why investors are wary of fueling the expansion of retail outlets. China has a half million bubble tea shops, the largest market for the sweet chilled combination of tea, syrups, tapioca pearls, and various toppings, including froth cheese. BBC cited the example of Nayuki Holdings, a Chinese bubble tea chain that briefly made its founding couple billionaires after going public in 2021. According to Bloomberg, the company's stock, issued in Hong Kong, has since declined 90% from its IPO price, lowering the net worth of founders Penying and Xiaolin from $2.2 billion to $300 million. A similar fate befell China's third-largest bubble tea chain, Sichuan Bai Chai Bai Dao Industrial, known as Chai Bai Dao, which has made its stock market debut in April. The shares plunge on the first day of trading and have yet to recover. Mu, China's m- most significant chain with 25,000 locations in China and 3,000 overseas, announced in January that it would file a $918 million Hong Kong IPO. It then put the offering on hold until this summer when it revived the filing. In the BBC report, senior economist Gary Ning at Nataxis in Hong Kong explains that, quote, Chinese food and beverage chains usually rely on quick expansion to achieve a large market share and pitch the story to investors as the exit strategy, end quote. Ning said, quote, it also means that the corporate health of these firms may not be very sound with leverage and the chains are usually highly replaceable if there are new and good competitors, end quote. Tourism is rebounding in Sri Lanka. Foreign visitors are essential to the tea economy, contributing directly as tourists who visit tea gardens walk the tea trails, and stay at tea-themed resorts, as well as indirectly as visitors who prefer ordering salon tea at hotels and restaurants and tea rooms. Earnings from tourism rose to more than $1.88 billion during the first seven months of 2024, a 73.3% increase compared to the same period in 2023, according to the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka expects to greet 2.3 million foreign visitors this year and projects 3 million visitors in 2025. The UN Tourism's World Tourism Barometer credits Sri Lanka for a steady post-pandemic recovery. Quote, Sri Lanka's tourism sector is distinguished by its diverse attractions, which include beaches, wildlife sanctuaries, rainforests, tea plantations, ancient heritage, and Buddhist cultural and religious sites, end quote, says Natalia Bayona, executive director of UN Tourism. A new promotional campaign by the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau targets five countries, China, Britain, France, Germany, and India. Initiatives include waiving visa fees and extensive social media campaigns. Tourism peaked in 2018 when 2.5 million tourists traveled to the small island where they spent $5.6 billion. Naraj Damel, chairman of the Sri Lanka Tea Board, told China Daily that Sri Lankan tourism offers many options 
based on travelers' budgets and preferences. He said that the country draws in many people who are attracted to beaches and those who like to visit the tea estates known for cultivating world-class Ceylon tea. There are in some estates where tourists can come, pick the tea, and stay in bungalows and hotels on the estates, he said. We call it tea tourism. The government is also making available beachfront property for development, encourages investment in new resorts and eco-friendly accommodations and tourism infrastructure. Vapula Wanegesagera, the former general director of the Sri Lanka Tourism Authority, said, quote, this winter is going to be a major success, end quote. Produced by Adavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.